Alright, welcome back to a playthrough of Mass Effect. We are going to go speak with Nihilus and Captain Anderson. And Captain Anderson is not here. Where is he, Nihilus? Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. People give us a chance to talk. I thought he was here already. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. He lied to me. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I'm sure it is. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Why are you asking? Do you know something? Yeah. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I knew it. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Say what? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? Yeah. You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. <sighs> Why? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. Thanks, Nihilus. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. All right, I'll take it. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. All right. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! They came out of nowhere! We need... I never quite understood why someone was sitting there recording this instead of running. I would be running. Of course, I'm Everything a coward. Everything out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. <laughs> Status report. 
17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly, without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Jenkins! We talked to him with the doctor. Gauging stealth systems. <clears throat> Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports right. throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. He's going out ahead? Doesn't that kind of seat the point of watching us? Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. All right. Here we are in our first mission place thing. This place got hit hard by the hostiles everywhere. I have horrible aim. Damn. Ooh, ooh, frames, frames. Where are you going? Perimeter secure. Okay. I'm gonna try and fix that real quick. <laughs> 